This is the Boston Red Sox news feed on CLNS. Today is Wednesday, May 2nd, 2018. I'm Adam Blue reporting for CLNS, a leading online provider of audiovisual coverage of the Boston Red Sox. The Red Sox look to be sitting pretty in the top of the ninth inning as Craig Kimball entered the game with a one-run lead. But Alex Gordon smacked a solo shot with one down to tie the game at 3-all, and after some extra inning drama, the Kansas City Royals held on for a 7-6 victory in 13 innings on Tuesday night at Fenway Park. Kansas City took a 4-3 lead in the top of the 12th after a double from Drew Butera and a sack fly from John Jay, but Eduardo Nunez tied the game at 4-4 with a solo homer off of closer Kelvin Herrera, who had not surrendered a run during the 2018 season until the bullet into the first row of the monster seats. Jorge Soler launched a three-run bomb off of eventual losing pitcher Brian Johnson in the 13th, but the Sox kept battling back, scoring two runs in the bottom of the frame. With one on and two outs, Nunez nearly capped the comeback, as his drive to dead center was snatched at the wall by center fielder Abraham El Monte. Prior to the late offense, there was a pitching duel in the early stages of the game, as starters Chris Sale and Jacob Junis put zeros on the scoreboard through the first three innings. The Royals scored single runs in the 4th and 6th off of the Sox ace, who earned his 4th no decision of the season. Mitch Moreland hit a solo homer off of Junis in the 6th to get Boston on the board, and Jackie Bradley Jr. tied it later in the inning with an RBI single that scored Raphael Devers. The Sox took the lead in the 7th as Andrew Benintendi doubled and made it home after two wild pitches from reliever Brad Keller. The loss moved the Sox to 21-8 and on the season and gave the Royals just their eighth win of the year. Boston's lead in the ALE shrunk to two games after their loss, and the Yankees' 4 nothing shutout win over the Astros earlier in the night. It looks like it's going to be a constant battle in the East with the two storied rivals, who are loaded with superstars that fantasy baseball lovers would die to draft on their teams. That leads me to talk about my new favorite app, Draft. It's daily fantasy baseball, but not like the other guys. On Draft, you play live snake drafts with other people just like in your season-long league. Drafts last for one night, and when you're done drafting, that's it. No trades, no waiver wire, just set it and forget it. And the best part, play for cold hard cash and get paid out the next day. Drafts start from just $1, so there's literally a draft for everyone. With Draft, I can go select my team for the night in a few minutes prior to the game starting. Hint, hint, there's afternoon baseball on Wednesday and just move on to whatever else I've got going on, like enjoying some incredible spring weather. Just pick your players in a few minutes and let the app track everything for you. Join me on Draft today. Just search Draft in your app store or play right from your computer on Draft.com. And for a limited time only, all Red Sox newsfeed listeners get a free entry into a real money baseball draft when you make your first deposit. But you have to use my promo code RedSoxBeat. That's right, play a real money game for free just by using my promo code RedSoxBeat when you make your first deposit. Search Draft in your app store or go to Draft.com and enter the promo code RedSoxBeat. That's all one word. The Sox and Royals will have a quick turnaround after playing for over four hours on Tuesday night as their series concludes with a matinee contest on what is shaping up to be the best day of the year. Hopefully the warm weather will lead to more runs for the suddenly average Sox offense and will prevent Boston from committing errors in the field, as the Sox had four miscues in Tuesday's loss. Manager Alex Cora did not mince words after the game as he was very upset with his team's lack of defense. Boston entered the contest tied with Houston for the fewest errors on the season. The Sox had eight errors total in their first 29 games and had four in just 13 innings on Tuesday night. Drew Pomerantz will look to right the ship on Wednesday afternoon as he faces off with Danny Duffy at 1.05 p.m. Pomerantz is 0-1 with a lofty 7.27 ERA after two rocky starts to begin his season, while Duffy has also struggled, toting a 0-3 record with a 5.40 ERA this year. The Boston Southpaw has allowed seven runs in just eight and two-thirds innings during his two outings entered his only loss of the year in his last start against the Tampa Bay Rays on April 27th. Pomerantz has faced the Royals just three times in his career, allowing three runs in 13 and two-thirds innings, with 10 strikeouts and just three free passes. 
Boston is the only American League team that Duffy has not won a game against as he is 0-4 with a rough 6.75 ERA and 6 starts. He has allowed 23 earned runs and 5 long balls in just 30 and 2 thirds innings with more walks 17, then K's 16 in those 6 brutal outings against the Red Sox. Be sure to check back here tomorrow to hear if the Sox could win a series and end their homestand with a 3-3 record. And follow us on Twitter at Red Sox CLNS for live updates and videos of each and every game. Don't forget to subscribe to the Red Sox news feed on iTunes and Stitcher. Download the CLNS Media app and visit the website at clnsmedia.com for coverage of all the local Boston sports. This has been Adam Blue for CLNS. Thanks for listening, and go Sox, Celtics, and Bruins.